Happy New Year, guys. Um, going into year 13 in 2021 is potentially one of the most interesting times to ever do this. Um, and this half term, you guys have a lot going on, mainly because UCAS applications have to be in very shortly. Um, and you probably have mocks or something coming up soon. So the first thing I would like you to do for the last week, week and a half that we have of the Christmas holiday is go and look at the playlist I made on university application forms and give serious consideration to the bits that aren't what people expect you to do, if that makes sense. So go and look at the videos on gap years or deferred entry or degree apprenticeship, stuff that you might not have come across before. These are all serious things I want you to spend a little bit of time thinking about. And then we're going to probably have mocks soon-ish. If you've already had a set of mocks, your school's probably going to give you another set of mocks. But I don't actually want you to do loads and loads of work over this um, week and a half. What I want you to do is useful busy things. Now, I know sometimes we can use busy things as a way of procrastination to stop us actually doing things but there are lots of useful busy things you can be doing like making your flashcards you can make flashcards however you want to you can do flashcards with um you know an actual bit of paper a card um it doesn't really have to be cards you can just go and get some scrap paper or you can do it on um your phone or on quizlet on loads and loads of brilliant apps um one thing that's really good to do is to write your flashcards and then record you flipping over your flashcards so that you've always got it on your phone and you don't need an internet connection if you're stuck in a tube tunnel or whatever so things like making flashcards for example languages you have to learn a lot of new words for however for science you generally have to learn more new words than you do for languages so especially if you're doing a level biology the definitions of things the differences between glucagon glucose and glycogen well they're actually really really important so just go and make definitions flashcards or do nice revision now i know not all revision is nice but useful busy work making flashcards and nice revision is going to be useful it's going to slowly get you back into the the pattern of going to school but it's not actually going to be that stressful i definitely don't want you to be sitting down and doing hours and hours and hours of mock papers or practice papers nice revision is stuff like multiple choice questions um because if you get it wrong well, it really doesn't matter. Nobody's going to know. Um, so just try to do some nice recall questions. Things that aren't too taxing but will be useful when we get around to it in the end. Or you can do a load of organising. Get all those practice papers in a folder somewhere. Get them printed out um, in your folder. Organise your folder. That is always a brilliant, brilliant thing to do. Copy up your notes and make them look readable and add examples to them. There are lots and lots of useful things you can be doing with this last week um, that aren't actually hugely taxing and won't actually stress you out, hopefully not too much. However, Having said that, if you just want to spend another week watching Netflix videos, that's also absolutely fine. Um, so, I am seriously going to ask you to start revising around February half term. So, I'll be back then with another video of things are getting a bit serious now. We need to kick things off. But for the moment, just keep watching Netflix, keep eating loads of chocolate and um, make splashcards.